8.35. Now, this is what this guy's tied up a little. Uh, because why? Why did we do that? Keeps the branches, yeah. So we were expecting some snow this winter, and in Ontario we have the wet, heavy snuff stuff. Um, and that causes the, the plants to split apart if they're pyramidal. So with this uh, this guy, we, we tied it. You'll actually be taught how to do this. You'll see the junipers are tied, some of the cedars are tied. Some of it is a, a bit unnecessary, but we needed some. We needed enough plants for, for students to practice on. However, when we look at the straight species later, Pinus nigra, you'll see that this one is definitely very, very fastidiate or almost conical in its habit. And that is the character of the cultivar Arnold Sentinel. You know what a sentinel is? A sentinel is a guard, right? Someone who stands up straight and, you know, doesn't smile. Doesn't smile, doesn't, you know, they're sentinels, they're guards, guards. right? Very rigid. Well, Arnold is the Arnold Arboretum in Jamaica Plains, Massachusetts. It's one of the oldest arboretums in the world. It belongs to Harvard University. And they have a lot of plant collections that come out of there. They do a lot of research. Probably the number one arboretum in the United States. And this is a selection that came from there. So Arnold Sentinel. Um, okay. uh, you'll see other plants, uh, Hamamelis, Arnold's Promise, etc. Named after that arboretum as well. Very, very famous arboretum. So this one is a two-needle pine, Pinus nigra. Needles are very, very rigid and stiff. It's got a very prominent uh, terminal bud, very big, beigey, uh, gray color, and really quite resinous. And somewhat rare cultivar. You don't see it very often. Uh, one of the bigger cultivars of a dwarf conifer. This is a dwarf conifer, even though it is not that dwarf. Um, can someone see behind that tag there? Yeah. Can you get the number off the back of that tag? Oh. Be careful because they're plastic, so they might oh. break in this cold. <laughs> can you get a number? <laughs> yeah, yeah, a really long number. 2007. That's, that's, that's good. That's all we need. That's what we need. So 2007, <laughs> this was planted, and it was probably about that height when we planted it. So it will give you some indication of the growth rate. It's, you know, it's a medium uh, to fast growing dwarf conifer. Dark green needles. This Yellow is tits. a cultivar of the most popular species of pine, Pinus nigra, which we're going to look at in a bit. Okay. okay. How, is, how is this a dwarf Sorry, pine? I don't know how tall they get, but I would That's imagine ridiculous. upwards of about 10 meters. The old Austrian pine. Yeah. So, the other thing is, if you look at the you look at the uh, stems, the younger stems, on uh, Austrian pine and, and and a few of the other big needle pines, you'll see these almost that what would appear to be scales on the bark, and that's where the needles have dropped off, and the bark has expanded and grown, so it almost looks like it's scaled, like a reptile scale. Yes. Right? Yes. This one is very similar to the next one, but 